Once I figured out how to speed boost on my 6 foot 6 in 6 foot 8 build with this ridiculously cheesy move and then learned how to combo it with other moves as well, I knew exactly what time it was. This 6 foot 8 demigod iso build gets a 92 perimeter defense so you get the gold badges of a pure lockdown defender, gets an 89 driving dunk and 78 vertical so you unlock all the pro contact dunk animations and on top of all that has nearly a maxed out speed and maxed out agility so you are as fast as a six foot eight can possibly be oh and speaking of fast did i mention that we're gonna use our max plus one on lightning launch which will give us gold lightning launch to compete against the small guard i even found a way to get legend challenger or legend glove on this build yeah this video is gonna be insane today we make a six foot eight that can iso play lockdown defense green from narnia and slash with the best of them what's up simply squad it's your boy build guru grinding and i need y'all to drop a like right now because the second this video hits 2,000 likes i will drop the best dribble moves for every build video that fully explains how you can now speed boost on a six foot six in six foot eight build yeah you heard that right it's time we fight back against these lockdown defenders because they have been absolutely having their way with us since 2k25 came out but with this ridiculously cheesy speed boost we might actually stand a chance so make sure to sub with notifications on and even if you think you're sub double check to make sure because i'm about to save your nba 2k25 playing experience but before that i have to give y'all the build you're gonna be doing this move with aka my six foot eight demigod rebirth build as well as the jump shot and dunking animations i have equipped so you can dominate on day one we're about to get into it all but first this video is sponsored by underdog fantasy underdog is hosting an insane special right now where new depositors aka you the person who's never signed up for underdog before can win up to a thousand dollars in bonus cash yeah you heard that right all you gotta do is sign up for underdog by clicking the link in the description or just typing in code grinding deposit ten dollars and you will have a chance to get up to a thousand dollars in bonus cash and with that bonus cash you can take advantage of special picks like this where if Dak prescott throws for just one yard you can win big between that and special offers like filled up friday where existing customers would get a 10 percent deposit match or discount count the dogs happening today where if you sign up today you'll get four discounts to use on college football players there is literally no reason to not sign up for underdog so again y'all click the link in the description and use code grinding so when you deposit ten dollars you can get up to a thousand dollars in bonus cash all right y'all and now for the build you're gonna want to go to create your own build and you can choose right or left handed it doesn't matter just make sure that it's the ball hand that you prefer to fade on from what i experienced fading to your strong ball hand feels better than fading to your off ball hand and now for the build you cannot go point guard and make a six foot eight the highest is six foot seven so for this build we're gonna go with shooting guard height is gonna be six foot eight weight is gonna be minimum weight which is 185 pounds and the wingspan is gonna be a massive seven foot three wingspan and the reason for this is because we want an 87 mid-range not only for the badges but to unlock the best jump shots for six foot eight build and not to mention just having a longer wingspan on taller builds is just a good thing to do because because you're gonna have mad defense you want to take advantage of it with a longer wingspan and finally the attributes the first thing we're gonna do is upgrade our driving dunk to an 89 overall rating which of course is gonna give a silver posterizer when we match our vertical to a 78 overall vertical which if y'all don't know 89 driving dunk in 78 vertical unlocks both pro contact dunk animations in nba 2k25 i tell y'all this every video if you're gonna go a high driving dunk make sure that you get every animation possible that that's why we're going a 78 vertical and we're gonna come back to finishing but right now we're gonna max out our mid-range to an 87 overall midi and we're also gonna make our three-point rating a 78 rating again yes you get silver shooting badges but the main two reasons we're doing this is one we want the best jump shots in the game and two i actually fade a ton of midis with this build my play style which y'all are gonna see soon is me speed boosting left and right with the glitchy speed boost i showed you on the intro and fading a midi right over people's heads because of how tall we are it is so cheesy and honestly it doesn't take that much skill but man is it fun 
and does it get you wins bro i'm literally gonna be like 150 and 5 by the end of this week but to do that speed boost we're gonna have to upgrade our ball handle so we're gonna make our ball handle a max rating which is an 86 overall rating as well as our speed with ball max at 79 this of course gives you every playmaking badge on silver including lightning launch but what we're gonna do with lightning launch is use our max plus one badge to get gold lightning launch now a lot of y'all were commenting on my last video trying to correct me saying that i could not get hall of fame lightning launch on my six foot six so i don't think y'all understand what the max plus one badge is so basically the max plus one badge whenever you max out a badge so for example silver lightning launch whenever i get silver lightning launch which is going to be off rip because i'm rebirthing and if y'all don't know when you rebirth you get silver badges off rip so when i make this build i'm gonna have silver lightning launch so i'm automatically gonna use my max plus one badge perk to raise silver lightning launch to gold lightning launch and yes i can do that max plus one ignores the max attribute ratings in the builder it doesn't matter what ratings you have i could literally have a 75 speed with ball and use my max plus one and still get gold lightning launch because that's how the badge perk works now obviously we're going max speed with ball because it determines your speed boost and then finally our pass accuracy is going to be a 71 overall rating last video i proved to y'all that pass accuracy does not matter in the park because i showed y'all that with a 65 pass accuracy on my six foot three tiny little build i was making bullet passes from across the court now don't get me wrong in the rec and pro amp pass accuracy will matter there's five people on the court that can steal lanes and passing lanes are absurdly broken but for twos and threes you will not notice this pass accuracy honestly it's gonna feel pretty good as well as silver dimer to help your teammates shoot because shooting is pretty difficult this year for the average player now my favorite part about this build the defense for perimeter defense you are gonna have a massive 92 overall rating we'll talk about the badges this unlocks in a second but then we're gonna match the steal with an 85 overall overall steal to get gold interceptor as well as silver glove but unlike 2k24 the most important defensive badge is actually interceptor not glove if y'all haven't noticed you don't get many pluck steals in this game you get blitz steals from going in and reaching at the side the person's dribbling at but the main amount of steals you get are blitzes and of course passing lane steals with interceptor and again i'll go back and explain the badges in a second but first we want to make our block a 74 overall rating if you've made tall builds in the past it always feels terrible not having block on a build this tall if you get beat off the dribble you want to be able to recover and get a chase down block so not only does this give you the two bronze badges that will allow you to do that it just gives you a solid rating for contest chase down blocks jumps everything in particular which complemented with your height you are not going to get bullied in the paint even with no strength and then last but not least we're going to go in 85 agility and in 80 speed i think this is a good time to explain agility versus speed versus speed with both so as you can see on the bottom right agility affects your lateral movement on defense so your lateral quickness so anytime you go high defense you want your agility pretty high and it also affects the first two seconds of your speed so for example if you're running on a fast break the first two seconds you're running will be based off your agility and then once the agility meter runs out it will go off your speed rating instead which is why we also went in 80 speed we want to be able to run the fast break especially because we have such good finishing we want to be able to get contact dunks on fast breaks as well as being six foot eight we're super long we're super tall you want to be able to get passing lane steals and be able to jump and get a late contest whenever you're out of position now back to the defensive badges bro look at the defense on this build you get all gold defensive badges as well as hall of fame off ball pass pair that with silver glove and gold interceptor and you have made a defensive menace and i haven't even mentioned a single cap breaker which i'm honestly gonna hit in like a week if y'all don't know at starter three you unlock your first five cap breakers so everybody that's watching this video is gonna hit their first five cap breakers eventually if you just keep playing nba 2k25 so it's not ridiculous to say that once you get your first five cap breakers you're gonna put your first four on perimeter defense the reason for that is because you're gonna get hall of fame challenger and hall of fame on ball menace and if you really want you could put all five on your perimeter defense and unlock hall of fame pick dodger as well you are gonna be a six foot eight build with hall of fame defensive badges pair that with your extremely fast agility and speed and you're gonna be an absolute defensive menace while being an iso build and then to finish off the build you can either go a really high free throw if you're a rec head you want to do this on rec you can get, make like an 83 free throw but me personally i'm gonna make my driving layup a 73 i'm planning on getting all 15 cap breakers so i might use five of them on float game to get silver float game you also have the option of making your steal an 86 if you want to put five cap breakers into glove to get gold glove i just don't think it's worth it i really don't think you're getting mad pluck 
sucks this year. I think you're just getting a ton of blitzes. And then you also have the option to just upgrade your rebounding all the way to max with these last two attributes just because it's super cheap in this build. You could do whatever you want with this build at the end. I just want you to follow this main template right here, like follow these exact attributes and then change it however you want in the builder to make it your own. Me personally, I'm going to make my driving layup a 73 so I could get flow cam on silver just in case that badge turns out to be OP later on. And then I'm actually going to do something a little different than I would do on most builds, especially my point guard build. I'm going to upgrade my defensive rebound to max with what I have left just because I'm going to be playing twos with a popper. So if my popper shoots, I want to be able to out rebound the guards that are guarding me with my extremely tall height wingspan and now offensive rebound rating. So y'all now a quick recap, 89 driving dunk, silver posterizer, pro contact dunks. You can 87 mid range mainly for the jump shots, but also get silver shooting badges. You can 86 ball handle and 79 field ball, which is max for a six foot eight build. 71 pass accuracy, more than enough for what we're going to be playing, which is mainly twos, but also if you play threes, it'd be perfectly fine. 92 perimeter defense, which is going to be a 97 with our first five cap breakers, unlocking all of our badges on Hall of Fame. An 85 steal, 74 block, 61 interior, just an all around defensive build. And then finally, to take advantage of those defensive stats, we have an 85 agility and 80 speed to make our build as fast as possible. And if you make this build, the build name you come out with is a two way, three level shot creator. Again, I'm not a super fan of the build names, but I mean, this is a lot of things that people aren't going to understand what you are. So at the very least, it should confuse people. But now that we got the build, let's get into the jump shot that you should be running on day one. All right, y'all, from what I've been reading in the comments, y'all are struggling more with the jump shots than you are the dribbling. So first, we're going to cover the jump shot for this build, which is base Jared Culver, release one Oscar Robertson, release two Oscar Robertson, 100% release speed, and the visual cue timing you want to use is directly over push. Trust me, you want to get used to push this year. It just overall feels the best in my opinion and if y'all want to know exactly when you're supposed to release it it's right before your player flicks his wrist so right at the peak of his jump shot right before he flicks his wrist that is your green window and just to show you how chicken the jump shot really is i haven't played a single game today no warm-up whatsoever one that's two greens i already know that's green you can really feel when you're gonna green it that's three greens i already know it i'll tell you when i mess up hold on that's four greens uh let's try a fifth that might be off that one might be off. Yeah, okay, that felt a little late. All right, cool. And then look, and green. I already know that one's green too. So basically, y'all, whenever you're at the peak of the jump shot right before you flick your wrist, that's when you release the ball, and it'll be green every single time. As well as pro two fade, you can do that too. You can green every single time. It looks very smooth. That was to my off ball hand, and that was to my same side. The same side's slower, so it's easier to time. That's why I said go right-handed if you're going to fade to the right. And then obviously going to the left, it'll be a little quicker, but it is also still pretty smooth. It's just a little harder to time because it's very quick, but if you can get it down, it'll be green. Next, we got our dunks. A lot of y'all actually been asking me for my dunks on my build, so I'm going to do them live with you. You can see exactly which ones I'm going to put on, including these ones, especially the signature dunks. I do these every single time. It's Devin Booker, John Morant, Clay Thompson, Anthony Edwards. That's all you need. You get quick drops in this one. Y'all remember quick drops off one? You get that in this animation. Just the best dunks in the game. You get contact alley-oops. You get regular alley-oops you get elite alley-oops you just get all these dunks i'm gonna scroll through one more time just so you can look through and see which dunks you should have on and then obviously you save it and then whatever you titled it i titled mine dunk then you go to your dunk style and equip it and then you'll have all your dunks ready to go but anyways y'all that's pretty much it the only thing i didn't give y'all is the drip moves and that's because i'm literally dropping a best drip moves for all builds video right after i drop this video once y'all hit 2,000 likes on this video, the video will be dropped immediately. So if you want to know how to speed boost with your 6'6 and 6'8 builds, make sure you're subbed with notifications on so you get the noti and you can be there first. Because trust me, I'm about to save y'all's playing experience because us tall guards have been moving in mud since the 2K25 launch and it's about time we change that. But anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And as always, keep grinding. Falling, falling. Two K, we never be falling. Yeah. Rachel, she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be taunting. Falling, falling. Two K, we never be falling. Rachel, she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be.